What's up, timekeepers? Me, Tom Gamer, here bringing the next part in Kona. So, if you're ready, I'm ready to attempt to roll the intro. Alright, guys, so we're gonna jump right back into Kona for part three of our playthrough. So, hopefully, you guys are enjoying. This game is awesome so far. Uh, the fighting's a bit weird. When you're fighting with weapons, uh, like melee weapons, it's a bit weird. But I know the game's not, that's not the main purpose of the game, so. We'll keep going so far. That's my only complaint so far. The rest of the game is pretty awesome. Can't wait. To, I can't wait to see what else the story holds for us. So, without further ado, let's just keep going. All right. So, when we left off the last video, of course, if you haven't seen the last video, I would re highly recommend going to see what happened in the last video. We were in uh, this building uh, in the clinic. I'll uh, just show you guys here in the map. Right here on the map where my little arrow is, I'm right at the uh, medical center. And then we've got three more houses on this on this uh, road to go see. So we'll go from there. So uh, I haven't checked this. Painkillers definitely worth this. Dr. Bolpere had done his medical studies quite far from here. He was surely one of the first students out of the new campus to settle on the mountainside. Montreal. University of Montreal. Okay, I think I checked everything in here last video. So we'll keep going. I just want to... Okay. Okay. All right. So there's not much information in that book so far. So we'll just keep going. We got other buildings to check. And right, let's go Carl back to the car. Like he knew the doctor. His belongings had spoken lengths about him, but what Carl had heard worried him. Okay. Go for a ride. We gotta keep going to the next house. Hopefully we, won't, we can't get stuck with this truck. Alright, so we're going right. Next house is on the right side. Gozer's house. Okay. All right. Oh, Jesus Christ, what the fuck? Okay, I'm sorry. Jesus Christ, it scared me. Can I come in? Hello, sir. Je m'attendais pas à ce qu'un étrange retourne disparaître ici. Moi te dire, je prends plus de chance depuis que ça rôde dans ce là. J'ai ma carabine au bout du doigt et puis bang 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 si ça s'approche. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully the subtitles are are good enough for you. Si tu veux du lait chaud parce que tu es habillé comme un gars de la ville, je dirais pas non à une bonne bouteille de caribou. Okay. Can I still look in your stuff without you shooting me? Oh, la belle pétarade. En 17 que c'était. Et le caiseux. Il se souvient de moi avec ma belle carabine. Bang bang que je lui disais. Bang bang bang. Ah, oh, le bon temps. Oh boy. Sounds like my grandparents. Vois-tu le livre là? C'est le Wendigo. Ouais, le Wendigo. Un guerrier qui devient un loup pour se venger de sa grosse peine. Et... Tales and Legends, page one. It was a time when hate waged war. Our hunters could decimate the great wolves who had taken our children. Our, war our warriors could snap the neck of the cowards who had reached for our supplies. The, f the deafening sound of rock above. Uh, the deafening sound of rock bone breaking was enough to sati satiate the hate and river the blood would express our remorse and apologies. Thus was balance maintained. Then came the whites. Okay. The legend of Wendigo dates back to the time before what anyone but the tallest tree can remember. A time of great cold and greatest... 
but the, t the tallest tree can remember a time of great cold and great desperation, when the ship came and spewed men on their fire cannon plague and spinelessness, violence broke forever, for, uh, and the dead were pilling up on our ancestral lands, too many bodies covered in moss, too much blood spilled on our stones, our bone-breaking hate did not suffice any longer. Oh my god, I can't fucking... Tu marches, tu marches, tu marches, tu sens des pieds. <laughs> All right. Gomme moi la belle rose de la tulle, qui se donne au yob sur le mercredi des sangs. Si tu peux effrayer cette histoire-là. Hé, hey, la Corivo, batèche, ça te passe l'envie de te marier, la Corivo. À tuer tous ces maris, squick, <laughs> les uns après les autres. Pas de pitié dans le mariage. I'm sort of blocking the subtitles. Put that down a bit. Sorry, sir. D'apparence que mon caribou tarde. Sorry, sir. I'm just going through your stuff here. I'll see if I can. Uh, oh, what does that? I think. <laughs> That's funny. That's funny. Okay, let me. I think he wants alcohol. Not sure. Sorry if I was blocking some subtitles there. I think I kept all the beer, and uh, I think that's what he wants. That fucking gunshot scared really scared me earlier. Tu m'amènes un bon galon de caribou et on devient ami. Sinon, mon petit gars, tu sors avant que je te sorte. Uh, f what? Oh, I don't have any shit. Okay. Let's go. Oh. Gado, ça ouvre la pantie. Prends là, je m'en fous. <laughs> Alright, this, this guy's funny actually. He reminds me like just an old gentleman from the back countries. Alright, let's see what we got here. Okay, we got empty gas can that could always be useful for something. Saw that is not enough down the biggest tree on the path, yeah, for sure. Alright. There's a hatch, but I already have one, so. Alright, let's go to the other houses. House of the Patriot. Alright. Yes, it is. So, if, if you don't know what this is, this is the Patriot flag. Uh, I don't remember all from it there, so I won't go into too much details. But that's like um, when the English invaded Canada back then. That was sort of our rebellion flag, sort of. Which is uh, still highly used by separatists today. I don't need that, I guess. I'll get shot at again, or...? The place looked more like a pigsty than a house. A heavy stench of curdled milk, cheap alcohol, and boiled cauliflower filled the air. Okay, yeah, this looks dirty. Rock music invaded the minds of men even in the remotest of places. The man didn't own a turntable, though. So there's that going for him. Okay. That's nothing. Why dishes when clean ones are... Why wash dishes when clean ones are within reach? I guess.
Oh yeah, I think I need it to eat, right? The uh, consumable. Did I not have... Uh... Good old beer. The rag reeked of fermented vomit. Carl wondered how one could bear to live in such gross and horrid conditions. Oh, I need something to fix it, eh? Drawers are overrated. Yeah, I guess. You had to be out of your mind to cook up white whiskey at home. The all-surrounding stench of alcohol alone was probably enough to gas a man to death. A gun rack. A gun rack. Carl now knew how to quench the drunkard's thirst. Okay. White whiskey too much is in Valak Fire. Sure is wine for added money. White whiskey too much isn't a valid quantifier for okay. Spice nice to taste just a bit okay don't okay. Alright. So now it's gonna tell me. Alright. Carl knew right away that the owner of this place wasn't a copper collector. No, this was a junk man's base of operations. The guy definitely seemed like quite the expert in scavenging scrap metal, with or without permission, surely. In the right hands, red metal could sell like hotcakes. That's true. Copper is worth a lot of money. Alright, so, oh, there's something here, I forgot. It aged in Amblouin. Seems like that pig had a name after all. Alright. Oh, and I'm gonna keep his wallet. <laughs> All right. Oh, shit. That's not good. All right, on to the next building now. Hopefully we'll have uh, the necessary ingredients. So we made it to the end there. Kill the sack. Sometimes, and especially around here, people are so possessive with their land as a dog is with hydrants. Okay. La Chemin. I don't know what that is. Dear Mr. Lamotte, here is the spark plug you ordered for your Olympic ski -Doo. This model being very popular has made it difficult to find a brand new part as quickly as usual. Thank you for choosing Garage Padvin Fist and Shibugamo since Yetan Padvin. Alright. Okay, spark plug. Bienvenue. Brake lock. Those are usually not the right pliers for that, I would I would assume. I wonder if the old, La Mutt's garage. Alright. What good was a motorless car? The mechanic sure had an odd way to go about repairing things. Ooh, it has a kind of... The song has a kind of... Um, a fucking... Uh, what? Last of us vibe. Last of us vibe to it. Another oh Jesus Christ! Victim of this ice. This one seemingly petrified in action. 
The poor man, before being frozen solid, seemed to have been defending the entrance to his cabin. But from what? Is this the memory thing again? Oh, yes it is. Oh shit, okay. What's going on here? Okay. Oh shit. Uh oh, that's not good. doing here okay, I don't know what I'm supposed to be what am I looking for here oh fuck Journey to the hereafter. Something okay. very important must have been in there for the man to take such time and effort to hide it. But Carl didn't know how to reach it. Oh. There's a little stepladder right there. Can't reach it. Hmm. A lot of orange juice. Something isn't right here when your bed is in your garage, yeah, I guess. Magazine. The very first steps of man on the moon were made more than a year ago. The event had surely captivated the mechanic's mind for him to still keep this around. Hmm. Interesting. Okay, those are oil. A lot of junk. Pliers. Hmm. Handlebar. There's a stepping stool here, but... The uh, week of October 5th, thought Carl. That was this week. The plug should have been here by now. I'm expecting an ice park toy around the week of October, blah, blah, blah. I already have it because I looked in his mail. Oh. Green milk for a little green man. Okay. I'll come back for this bucket after. I don't know really how to get it, so... Okay. Oh, there's a gas pump here. Carl wondered how long he would have to endure this skin-stinging cold. phone outside perhaps someone was expecting an important call in any case that person's in for a long wait Carl what? already noticed that telephone services weren't provided in this area okay so Hamilton I, uh, je ne serai... I will try 
Hamilton, I won't be your dog anymore. Makes sense. Nice catio. They say it's supposed to soothe the soul. But with this powerful gale that seemingly never sleeps, it was far more likely to get on anyone's nerves. All right. Police letter. Dear Mr. Lamotte, following up on your Roswell, complaint. Roswell, Atamipec, same story. Large deserts conducive to extravagant follies. Following up your complaint, I'm afraid that the police cannot support your claim alleging the sudden appearance of a man who came from outer space on your village territory. Manifestly, uh, what happened at Roswell, New Mexico left a deep impression on you and we would urge you to consult with a physician as soon as possible regarding future potential complaints. Let it be known that Judicial District of Abitibi does not believe in little green men. Regards, Pierre Valjean, Clerk, Sûreté de Québec. All right. I'm missing some logs. You got any logs in your house? Oh my God. Weird stuff. Kind of a crossing between a colander and a hair dryer. What was it for? To play telepath? To protect against nuclear waves? Okay, so I'm gonna have to go get logs in my car here. Cause I'm fucking getting beat up here. Unless there were some logs around here. Oh yeah, right here. All right, let's warm up. All right. Carl deducted this was a map of the area. Yeah, good deduction. Were those pins pointing to places of interest? Okay. Did it, I did I add that to my map? Grotos, grets, or um, uh, points of interest. The man has a passion for intergalactic things. Back then, people were obviously scared of the Russian atomic bomb, but an invasion by extraterrestrials was a legit fear as well. Mm. Seems like the mechanic had made his choice. Part manual, suspension. There's too many parts. Taking puzzle apart is easy, but. Patch everything but up the tracks. I left it them close by. Ski. Don't drink and work. Don't drink and work. Don't drink and work. I misplaced parts of the machine. Do not come to help me work on the machine. Body that would make a nice P. Okay. Electrical. Steering. No, it's. Won't read all that. It's just the manual how to assemble the damn thing. I hope he's saying I can take that fucking thing in the back there. Uh, hammer. I already have a hammer. Uh, okay, that's good. Another broken mirror. Apparently, Lamut is a rock collector. God darn it. Already checked there, eh? Hmm. Oh. Ooh, Polaroids. Ooh, one. When one isn't enough, why not buy eight? Makes sense. Oh, can I, uh. Guys got garlic <laughs> scared of vampire or something? Garlic to repel vampires or else. See, wasn't too far about. Oh hello. By following the Carl was led to believe that the snowmobile's parts had to be scattered about in the vicinity.
Hmm, the vicinity, eh? Okay, cool. Alright, let's see if we can put the par. Cool. I'm gonna need some gas. I think I have some in my truck. Uh, empty gas container. We're good, let's go. One filled gas tank. I need track for that. Oh, there it is. I need two tracks, uh, two skis. Oh shit, okay. Crazy thoughts. Carl had no idea how to interpret a message like that. On the surface, it seemed like he had one half too many of this puzzle. Enough to know he shouldn't take this testimony as gospel. I saw some the entire thing being some punishment for a murder committed by Hamilton seemed like an outlandish theory. Carl was doubtful. I saw something in the woods on the solemn day of October 6, 1970. No man should ever see. The aliens are here. They are roaming in the woods. They will invade us all from here down to sunny Mexico. They are massive, twice as tall as a man. They are half man, half caribou, half wolf. I'm sure the fact that I saw them <coughs> means they broke their military code. They are after me. If they're reading this, it's too late. I have already been taken to the planet Elohim to the experiment upon a lab. They are punishing me for not doing anything when I witnessed the murder yesterday. When I saw William Hamilton kill someone. Farewell. All right. The shape of this machine, almost straight out of Star Trek, what the was out fuck? of the ordinary to say the least. It felt like this thing could fly up into space at any moment. I'm missing something, though. There's the headlight. And where's the ski for it? Alright, I'm just missing one ski and then I'm done fixing this thing. The only place I had to look. Carl wondered how long he would have to endure this skin stinging cold. A bit of gas, a new spark plug, and a key. And this thing would run perfectly. All he needed to do now was to find all that. I'm missing a key. God damn it. If some daring person could manage to get their hands on the missing parts, Carl was willing to bet that the craft would have taken flight. <laughs> oh, I might have had... Oh, okay. I'll go check now. I might have given me the... The missing uh, question mark I had there on the list. Open the fucking door. Hardware. Okay, I got that. Okay. Homemade flying saucer. It was an indisputable I'll never see. Machines like this until the level of me. intellectual finesse that Carl was lacking. Yeah. Okay. Hmm. We're gonna go to that point of interest here. Hopefully, I'm hot enough. Oh, there's a wolf over there. Okay, dokey. Hmm. Okay. 
some uh, painkillers here. There it is. Oh, okay. The blood and the shape of the hole in the ground left no room for doubt. Someone had been buried here. Someone whose life had been taken with blunt force. Where was the body now? Why had it been buried, only to be dug up later? Carl felt as though he was shrouded in fog. Alright, open this shit. Might need to go back to warm myself up here. Where the fuck is this leading? Secret project. Okie dokie. That large antenna in the middle of the path. Undoubtedly ideal in attempting to communicate with little green men. Was quite awkwardly placed. There had to be a lever to control it. Maybe behind it. Carl would have to figure out how to reach it. I'm getting kind of cold here probably. I'm assuming this is the way. It's the only other way around here. There it is. See, I screwed up. I, I should have brought an extra log with me, but... There's a little cabin here, but... Electric terminals appeared to be linked together, but for what purpose? So that's where the generator key was hiding. All that was left was to use it. Okay. Okay, so I need the blue power. Okay, so one's a negative and the other's a positive. Carl wondered how long he would have to endure this skin-stinging cold. So well, that needs to be negative. So that means the red wire Carl rejoiced at the unexpected Ooh. source of heat, but not as much as his freezing hands. Good. Let's go to contrary. Let's go positive first. Positive. Alright. Okay, red wire now. Green wire. Fuck. Okay. 
okay no yeah cuz It was so cold, already Carl did not feel his toes anymore. Uh, so, uh... There you go. All right, I got it. Whew. It's getting confusing there for two seconds. Fuck. Thank God this heater's here because I don't think I would have made it. Open sesame. At last, so big an effort for an oh so tiny piece of metal. <laughs> Let's start this mutter up. Ooh, vintage. Yeah, baby. So where do we want to go here? So there's a, a, a thing up there. Okay, so uh, let's. I'll grab the log. I'll, I'll take the ski do up there, I guess. To the. Um, it seems to be a. Uh, a draw. Icy cavern. Oh shit. Okay. I'm hoping there's fucking something to warm me up in here. Danger. The cold seemed to be more brutal here oh, shit. than okay, anywhere okay. else. It seeped into bones and into every uh, get out of here. Get to the heart until it stopped. Carl needed to be dressed in warm clothes to survive. Ah, shit. Alright, so, going back down this road. We're gonna go back on the main path. Uh, I don't have anything to... Uh, I don't have anything like to... Um, pretty much sure I did all the house. I don't have the... The sherry wine I need to do, the whiskey for the guy to get the coats. I'm gonna go down, keep going down the road, go to the next path I can go down. And see what, what I can do from there. Landslide, eh? What's going on here? The trap was fresh. That meant the car sunk down just a little while ago. Now where the hell could the passengers possibly have gone? 
Harald was becoming increasingly convinced that this was not normal hunting. The game that was being tracked was fearsome. So much so that the hunter didn't dare approach it. What could it be? Okay, so this road is off limit. There was only void where the road should be. Carl hated the end. He felt trapped. It was as if the road had drowned in the lake. He would have to find help by another road. Ranger manual. The metal owners seen by Wilfred Rura. Okay. Guess we're going the right way here. So there should be uh, something a bit later. Hopefully I'll be able to make an ice wall. Carl knew why he was suddenly shivering. He was going back to the realm of visions. Carl had no issue recognizing the spirit-like figures, but he couldn't figure out what they wanted from him. Hmm. The phantom, freed of reality's shackles, vanished in the forest. Earlier, Carl had witnessed a tragedy that befell it. Another phantom disappeared in the wilderness. Carl had seen what happened to it, too. Okay. I guess I only did two. I need to do more, I guess. The further Carl moved away from the ice block, the more his senses came back to him. Okie dokie. Oh. Hey, it's a... Um, it's a Sophie. It's like a chew toy for babies. There it is. Alright, now I have a fucking long way to track back here. Is that a river? There it is. There's the box to save the day. Six. God. Okay, that's back the other way.
Oh, there it is. Sherry wine. God damn, why did I not pick that up earlier? All right, so I found the wine, the sherry wine. Now we're going to go back. This is the distillery there. Gonna go back and make some fantastic. I'm uh, uh, missing an empty bottle. All right, so we're back at the cabin to make the moon, the moose or the moon, the moonshine, the perpe caribou. All right, so now we can go back to see the old man and grab our coat so we can go in the um, in the caverns after. So we'll go get the coat. Thank God I went back to the general store to find that wine because I would have been searching forever. I didn't know I could have climbed. I didn't know I could climb that ladder. I never checked around his house. Uh, I can. There you go. <laughs> All right, we got a coat. Cool. Thank you, sir. All right. Uh, I'm, I'm assuming now we're not going to get as cold as easily this time around. So that's pretty good. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this part of uh, Kona. I'm really enjoying the game. I was a bit confused there uh, when I was trying to find the thing. I just couldn't find it for some reason. Uh, and I forgot to look, like, it's always the little, uh, I forget to look in the trunk, I forget to look uh, in, a, in, a, in a little ladder or something like that, so. Uh, a lot more searching than I would want to, but it was still, it's still cool anyway. So, if you enjoyed, of course, like the video, subscribe to the channel, would really appreciate that, if you would do that for me, you guys. And uh, also follow me everywhere, me, Tom Gamer, Twitter, Twitch, Facebook, Instagram, and right here, youtube.com forward slash me, Tom Gamer, where I post a new video every day, the week, Monday to Friday, 3 p.m. Eastern Time. Well, thank you so much, guys, for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Keep on keeping on.